What's good? It's your man, Sir Can't tell you what to do. Celebrity Hill Review, TV show review, and we got to talk about Doctor Who. Now it's called Doctor What the Fuck Is That on the fucking television screen? Or Doctor What the Fuck Is We Watching? Or you can just call him Dr. Fruitcake. That's his name. Dr. Freaking Fruitcake. Because that's what Doctor Who has resorted to. Even the phone agrees. Now look. Doctor Who used to be a fun show. Used to be a family show. Used to be a show about adventure, science fiction. Great storytelling and great dialogue. Russell T. Davis wrote some great stories. Now they brought him back to write stories about fruitcakeism, if that's even a word. <laughs> and trans representation. They're trying to convert your children. They made a song about it. <laughs> Look it up. It seems every time I post it up, they always take it down. But anyway, Doctor Who ratings completely dropped after the female doctor. Now, the female doctor played by Jodie Whittaker, we're going to call her Dr. Female Lecturer, that was talking to us to death with a scrunch face. We find out that Chris Chipnall, the showrunner, has retconned the doctor's whole story. 60 plus years of Doctor Who lore down the toilet. Instead of the Doctor being from Gallifrey, land of the Time Lords, now the Doctor's from some unknown planet. Took it to a planet to be killed multiple times for its regeneration power. Because like the Doctor can regenerate and shit. There's lore behind the regeneration process. All this shit is out the window. Everything out the window. If y'all a fan of Doctor Who, y'all understand what I'm talking about. Most people don't even watch the BBC. <laughs> now, look. So now, the female Doctor story is just completely destroyed the whole Doctor Who name. Now, after the female doctor dies, it turns into um, an original doctor, one of my favorite doctors, the 10th doctor played by David Tennant. Now, we all are confused, like, what's going to happen next? So, we go on three adventures, you know, we bring Donna Noble back, and Donna has a trans daughter. Yeah, named Rose. So, instead of thinking about the beautiful woman named Rose that was with the 10th Doctor. Now we got to deal with a trans character named Rose. And during the episodes with David Tennant, they shitted on his character. They downplayed him, downgraded him, made him look like he was an idiot. He shitted on him and he shitted on the fans. But David Tennant shitted on us by going along with the fruitcake agenda. So, you gotta say fuck David Tennant for that. Yes, I gotta call him out. Even though he's my favorite doctor, but, you know, fuck him. Same for Peter Capaldi. He agreed with the fruitcake agenda. <laughs> so I gotta say fuck Peter Capaldi. Even though, you know, uh, they was trying to add the lesbian shit during his last seasons you know what I'm saying like they was putting the agendas in the show but the story wasn't focused on it we focused on saving the freaking world so then like after David Tennant goes through some bi regeneration process with the black fruitcake doctor the black fruitcake doctor is supposed to be next in line for the whole, you know, regeneration process. So, like, you know, when the shit finally happens, we finally get the Black Fruitcake Doctors episodes. And it's all horrible. 
do dancing in gay clubs, hanging with space babies that's talking with, with like no great storyline behind it. The fucking second episode, we get an, um, another trans character called the Maestro. Acting is horrible. This motherfucker moaning in the scenes and shit. Like, what the fuck is this? They trying to converge your children. But before the episodes even aired, they were saying, if the fans don't like our new direction, good riddance. The Black Fruitcake Doctor told us, go outside and touch grass. And then as soon as your uh, motherfucker shows come out, y'all get the lowest ratings in Doctor Who history. You don't disrespect the fans. And you don't create stories surrounded by a fruitcake agenda instead of saving the fucking world. Or saving whatever planet the motherfuckers are on, whatever. Doctor Who is officially destroyed and ruined. <laughs> Thanks to Chris Chipdahl, Russell T. Davis, and they're about to bring in Stephen Moffat. Everybody is skeptical. Some people are hopeful, but I'm like, man, Stephen Moffat is part of the big three. <laughs> we got Chris Chipdahl, RTD, Stephen Moffat. <laughs> so you think Stephen Moffat not going to go along with the agenda? Come on, dog. He is. <laughs> we was hoping for Russell T. Davis to a motherfucking retcon the retcon of Chris Chipnall, but that was being too hopeful. <laughs> in conclusion, in this culture war that we're dealing with, the only solution is having a new creative revolution. We need to make our own TV shows. We need to make our own movies. We need to make our own comic books. We need to make our own toys. Fuck it. Even the phone agrees. We need to make our own shit. It's going to be a new creative renaissance. And we're not going to be dealing with the agenda. We're going to be dealing with the truth. We're going to be dealing with people's creativity and, and uniqueness. No more of this fruitcake agenda being passed to our children. It's time to show real art, real literature, real content, real dialogue, real art, man. So now it's all about <laughs> fan fiction <laughs> that write better stories than shit you see on television. <laughs> So this your man, Sir K, tell you what it do with a TV show review talking about Doctor Who. Now it's Doctor. What the fuck is that? <laughs>